Rosie Hardy Gardening here. Recently we put out a video on my top five herbaceous perennials for growing in containers. This is a bonus five for you, just so that you can see what variety it is possible to put into containers. And your containers can be large, they can be small like this, they can be traditional clays, they can be glazed, they can be something like this, which is a rice husk pot. And this will eventually deteriorate, but I've been able to manage to use this for three years so far, and it hasn't started to decay. So do remember that. And then the other thing is saucers. Remember, if you're putting them on the ground, it's a good idea to put them into a saucer. So you can either get something like that, or I've suddenly found that a lot of my old pots that I've been using for cooking are no longer any good for that. I've been using old saucepans to use as my water source for my plants that are in containers. They work really, really well and they don't look untidy either. A little bit of recycling is always good to do. So let's have a little look at what I've got here for you to be able to choose from. This beautiful Baptisia, and there are lots and lots of different Baptisias out there. This is Coralina Moonlight, and it has lovely lemon flowers, beautiful upright. It's an alternative to a lupin. It's very perennial. It doesn't get eaten by slugs and snails. It doesn't get the aphid attack that the lupins do. So it's a cracking thing to put in a container. And again, once it's finished flowering, then you can move it on and put it out into your borders. So that is Baptisia. And look at all the other beautiful colors there are of these. But they go up, they're really good. They give you some height with all your container plants. Very, very traditional little plant that is used a lot and seeds itself around in the garden but is still great in a container is the little Erigerin carvinskianus. Starts off with pink buds, goes to beautiful white daisies, flowers, 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 flowers. It's just a cracking little plant to put in a container because once you've got it in a small container, it can be tucked away underneath other things and it will just help fill up gaps if you're trying to build up whatever you've got in the way of containers around a door or just at an entrance, anything like that. If you're wanting something which is quite spectacular and slightly different, then this saxifrage, Saxifraga southside seedling. Beautiful rosettes of leaf. This stays evergreen right the way through the winter, so you've got interest all year round. And then at late spring, you get these beautiful flowers that come out like this. And quite often it will cascade down like so, but you get the most beautiful white and red flower on this. Really, really smashing thing to put in a container. Saxifraga Southside Seedling. For those of you who are up to date with your nomenclature, the next two have changed their names. So we have this one here, which is Oenothera Lindheimeri Ruby Ruby or what you would know as Gora. So these have been reclassified, but they are still the same plant. They grow really, really well. Ruby Ruby is a slightly shorter Oenothera. It's not a diddy one, it's just a mid-height one. Beautiful dark, purple-tinged foliage. And then out of that come these amazing, beautiful dark pink ruby colored flowers and it will be covered with flower right the way through the summer. Ideal for putting into a container when you've got dead flowers just cut them back it will regrow up and you'll just continually have a load of flower on there. A little bit of food, liquid feed, a little bit of water every now and again but do not overwater. That is your Oenothera lindheimeri ruby ruby. Then this next one, which has again, this is another one which has changed its name. This is Glandularia. And this one is Glandularia Seabrooks Lavender. Now this is one that we launched many years ago at Chelsea Flower Show. Beautiful, big verbena flower heads, because that's what it used to be called, verbena. And it is not the trouble with this one is everybody thinks it's a lavender because it says Se Seabrook's lavender. That's just a description of the colour and it was named for 
Peter Seabrook and it is a beautiful plant and it will grow in containers wonderfully it will just fall over and tumble down and then makes a cracking plant totally hardy you can cut it back if it's getting a bit straggly and it will just keep on producing flower right the way through the summer months there is another color form within this and this one is margaret's memory and this one is one that was named after peter seabrook's wife so here we go you've got the two different colors there really really beautiful what were verbena but now are glandularia really really great for putting in containers and you will have so much fun you know you can have things which are falling over the pots you can things which are tall you can mix and match them all together and have a wonderful display do enjoy growing plants in containers thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe to the channel